something. Mm. But um, Gadano didn't. He was trying to work it out. I don't, I don't think they'd been on together before. And I say he was trying to work him out and do bits and pieces here, but uh, Sobriov was too clever for him in the end. Managed to uh, see him off. Right, we've got uh, Noshai Moshi Sandor and, uh, of Hungary and Saeed Al Kubesi. I don't know if you've ever s heard that name pronounced. Hey, props to you for pronouncing it as well as you do. <laughs> I mean, like ev every, every one of the names are spot on. Pretty that, good. that one, I had to go and ask the guy. I said, <laughs> I think your name is Nagi Soli Mosi. And he said, no, my name is Noshai Moshi. Okay, <laughs> 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 whatever you say, <laughs> dude. But um, it, it's it's a it's a nice one to to, to get to know the fighters. You know, I'm always in the um, in the back trying to chat to them and uh, mm -hmm. just get a little bit of uh, insight to what they're doing and how they're training and things. And from time to time, if I've got a piece of information that's that's relevant, I'll try and uh, drop that in. I didn't see the um, fight between Murat. Kodzakov of Russia. He looks as though um, he hasn't broken sweat. <laughs> Either means he was thrown quickly or he threw <laughs> something <laughs> quickly. I'll go for the latter uh, myself. Who was he up uh, against? Uh, Kodzakov. Can't see it here. One of the winner of um, Al Kabizi. Right. They must be brothers, Khalifa and Saeed. Or maybe it's a fairly common name, or, or the uh, the fighter from Cameroon. Anyway, I put my money on Kodzakov doing that, and that will put him into the quarterfinal. We'll uh, we'll find out about that um, soon enough. No score yet between uh, Noshai Moshi and Al Kubaisi of the uh, United Arab Emirates. I've got a, f a few fighters in the difficulty for a country like this is that they don't have a really really big um, judo program so whereas uh, you would get four fighters um, in to um, uh, a weight category mm -hmm. from each of the host fr from the host nation we've got one or one or two um, so that that's another reason that the numbers will be down a little bit yeah. but as I said yesterday for those of you that were listening uh, yesterday, I, w I wouldn't um, uh, discount um, this competition uh, in any way because in 2009, when we had the first um, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, and the numbers were pretty, pr pretty thin then, it was mm -hmm. the first time, and not a lot of people came. From that number, from that uh, number of fighters, 46 of those fighters ended up fighting in London. So you're saying the quality was there. The quality know, yeah. and the quality is it, we we didn't know that at the time because you mm -hmm. four years out you don't know who's going to end up in London. Mm -hmm. But it, it now transpires when we look back at the number of, of um, people that were in the competition and what they di subsequently uh, did, mm -hmm. 46 of them went to London, six of them won medals, there was a gold and a silver and four bronze medalists from that 2009 competition that is almost um, a mirror image of the numbers and ranking mm -hmm. of the fighters that are here now. So in a way, wh what we're seeing with this competition is um, the, the you could almost call it the, uh, the 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 shoots you know the grassroots the beginnings of what could uh, appear in uh, Rio in 2016. Some of the fighters who you know out the juniors and that kind of uh, take Agbegnenu uh, for, for for example. You know, is Eman going to be around in four years' time? That's mm -hmm. a big that's a big task. Yeah, yeah. To be at the top in four years' time. Whereas Agbegnenu is a 20-year-old, you know, mm. she's just absolutely in her prime. And in four years, you know, I, I think she'll be unstoppable. So you, you're looking at, at, at somebody here who's not a world medalist, 
um, not a Olympic um, medalist because she hasn't been to an Olympics. In four years' time, you know, she could end up as Olympic champion. Mm, for sure. And there'll be a few of them here. We just don't know who they are. <laughs> 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 Helen Resevo looked good yesterday. The, uh, the French girl. She was junior world champion. So there's, th there's pedigree there. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Galstian. Is he going to hold 60s, 60s? Right, right. Galstian's not a big guy. You know, he just doesn't have that kind of look where you think that he's going to disappear into the uh, the 66s. Mm -hmm. uh, so he may be around. Whether he can hold that level of, um, you know, hold that degree of success for the next four years is a is a big question. But uh, Madranov doesn't look like a big guy, does he? No, no. Go ahead. He looked dangerous yesterday, didn't he? Nice um, yeah, Jujuka Tami from Noshai Moshi to um, take the contest for Ipon. But Madronov looked dangerous yesterday with that Uranagi, didn't he? Yeah, he hit that w uh, two at least twice. You know, yeah, big big at least twice. Really pulled it off well. And one wasn't a counter. Mm. One, he engineered it himself and, yep. and, and got in there. So he, he was a bit of a danger man. We had um, Ludwig Pacher up here yesterday for um, the, uh, the final block as well. He... Um, he didn't enjoy the day, <laughs> you know. You lose, you don't enjoy it. <laughs> um, but he enjoyed being up here, and you know the the, uh, the ability to watch, analyze, talk it through. You know, has it happened? That's not necessarily such a such a bad thing, especially when it's your own weight category. I mean, you're looking at the under 81s, so and they move differently, they do different things, and you know, tactics I think can uh, be, be 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 fairly similar, but uh, fighting styles. There's a big uh, difference between 81 and 60. So Lupo got the, the, the lucky seat yesterday yeah, yeah. to watch the under 60s, and he, he took full advantage of it. Now, it was interesting just being here you know, at the competition. I got a chance to talk with uh, LC Helen from Belgium and uh, Lupo and Phil Moser, just seeing what they're going to do for the next you know, four years and everything. Yeah, those kind of um, shared uh, ideas and discussions uh, help. Yeah. And they're nice. I mean, Filtzmoser is renowned on the circuit for 